Uh oh. Is fighting and despair all you know? May eternal peace be yours. Let's see. This is Stormhaven. We're in trouble. Keep the heretical inquiry. It's one of the few proactive removals we have. Get rid of Unica Dancer. Get rid of Unicorn Dancer. I really need Sacred Flea. There we go. It's not a bad curve. Sort of. Beast call? No? No beast call? <clears throat> Heal Haven. I actually haven't played against Heal Haven yet. The basic strategy is just to beef up a handful of minions though by healing themselves. And we don't really care about either of those effects. We can remove any minions she plays. And health doesn't matter, so... Theoretically, this deck should have a huge advantage. Temple Enforcer just for the heck of it. I mean Temple Defender. Different card game. Obey the Lord's will. We got Themesis, Goblin Mount, Death Sentence. We don't really need the card draw. But actually, I think we always play Hallowed, right? Because Hallowed gets us closer to Seraph. And we don't really care about the minion, so. I think in that situation, you always play Hallowed. Unless you really need more presents for some reason. Your evil deeds end now. But I was planning on her having a priest of a cudgel and it really doesn't matter. I see always having a board was just holding me back from playing Goblin Mo anyway, so. Please settle down! Hmm. Let's see. Fortunately, Goblin Mount doesn't kill that now. Themesis is going to be the panic button because we don't really have anything to follow it up. So I think we play Unicorn and Death Sentence? Stop! 
Why would you buff your minion after hitting me in the face with it? Ooh, Dark Angel Olivia. That means we got evolves for this turn and the next. We really don't care about oh, yeah. Unica. Sorry, Unica. Oh. Get to work. Hey, that hurts. The real battle begins. Show no mercy. little pro tip about Olivia, she not only resets your evolve points, she also resets the evolve mechanic. So if you evolve something on turn 9 and then play Olivia, you can still evolve Olivia with one of your new points. Of course it's very hard to get to turn 9 with an evolve point, but like I said before, this deck does pretty well on evolve points as long as you're not removing things every turn with them. Oh, she DC'd? I envy Damn. That was going so well. I pray that you will be freed from suffering. Yeah, I have a pretty good feeling that this deck would crush Heal Haven anyway, so we can easily count that as a win. Alright, on to the next one. Runecraft. Is fighting and despair all you know? I guess you're looking for a fight. All right. <clears throat> we don't really need minions if this is D shift Runecraft. We just need Sacred Plea, card draw. We need to get Seraph ASAP. What do you do? Hello. It's actually not a bad hand. If she plays some golems, we can zap I'm just a mage who's as old as dirt. Okay, now I'm confused. I did hear about a deck running this guy, but I don't know what deck that is, so I'm not sure how this is gonna play out. Just hold on to our minions for now because I don't know what deck this is or how it plays, so we'll just keep an eye on it for now. If it's a variant of spell boost, then she really wants things to zap. play Goblin Mount next turn just because we got two of them and we can start playing things on curve. Well, not on curve, but we can start playing things every turn. She hasn't spell boosted much. She played one spell. So unless she's running hard removal, this will stick around. Get to work! So it's obviously a variant of spell boost. I'm not sure with all these extra cards it can run D shift though. We don't have anything to remove this, right? Aside from death sentence. Get to work. You're done for. 
Show no mercy! Charge! Charge! No! We don't really care about the face damage or the minion that destroys itself, but I'm not sure how this deck plays out, like I said, so. Since she was having trouble removing the 3 7, I figured we might as well get two of them out there. She has started spell boosting a lot though, so with a hand that big, it's probably going to be a problem. Runs Earth Essence as well. Hmm. I have death sentence, I have Demesis. This is your fate. Not done for. A revelation. So I should be able to hold out for a while. I just need to draw a Seraph. Darkness. The darkness comes and it will kill us all. Priest to the Kudge. Priest to the Kudge and Temple. I don't really need uh, minions though. Your evil deeds end now. The real battle begins. I see your weakness. I obey the Lord's will. Come on, sir. At least her hand size is going down. I mean, it went back up to seven, but fresh cards don't. Fresh cards aren't spell boosted, so I'm not too worried about them. It's the old cards I'm worried about. Jesus Christ, come on, lady. Damn it. It won't be long now. Only one. That's how it goes against T-Shift, typically. We got lucky last time. Thank you. I envy you. I wonder why the T-Shift room put Time Mage Levy in there. Maybe it was replacing a crappy card? I have no idea.
Not runecraft again. Is fighting and despair all you know? I guess you're looking for a fight. Not a bad hand. I do need a sacred plea though. Maybe we just keep priest. There we go. How do you do? Nice. I think we do have to play something though, right? No. Seven? Then we get three cards next turn. No, yeah, that would be nine. Eight for the draw, nine, ten. Yeah, so we have to play something. That's right. I'm just a mage who's as old as dirt. You're done for. It's just like back in the old days. Let's see, classical yeah, pit it. sand petrification. She's only played three spells so far. Oh! I'm all tuckered out. Get to work! Done for. Show no mercy. That's fine. We want to play Themesis on 7 if possible. Actually, we have two of them, so we could play right now and it would still be possible. <clears throat> you gotta see me dance. Oh, no. Actually, Death Sentence on 7, but Runecraft doesn't really uh, play any minions, so it doesn't really matter. This is your fate. Oh. It won't be long now. A revelation. A revelation. Priest, but we can just play this and get a card. Lost in wayward ones. Nice. The real battle begins. 
Your path has been left. Obey heaven's word. My time has come. Wind God? What D shift runs Wind God? Now I'm confused. Oh well, we'll just win the game. And then we don't have to be confused anymore. She already used two petrification, May right? The wind or one. You. She did use two, right? I'm shocked! Well, if she does have petrification, there's nothing we can do about it except for draw another surf. This is your fate. Themesis. Oh, I can't do Themesis plus death sentence. Uh, no! We can do Themesis plus sister, though. Or death sentence plus death sentence. No, Themesis plus sister. My time has come. May you rest in peace. I will liberate you. I can see the path to heaven. I got nothing. Sledgehammer plus death sentence. No, carry it plus sledgehammer. Death sentence beats uh, the other guy though, if she has a combo. So we do death sentence plus priest. Oops. I meant to do priest, but same difference. If she drops a rune blade D shift, then rune blade dies. I'm through. Alrighty, so early we had an example of losing against D shift. That you will be freed from suffering. Like I said before, I get the feeling that versus D shift is like a 50-50. They're both stall decks that rely on a big win condition, so it really depends just on who draws their win condition first. I think I'll wrap up there. The deck performs pretty much how I expected. It does really good against most decks. It does 50-50 against D shift rune. And it's weak against Stormhaven, which actually we didn't see at all, so you'll just have to take my word on that. Alright, hope you all enjoyed the video. Tune in again next time, and have a good night.